Hello guys, I am Francesca Nightgrave and welcome to my playthrough of Skyrim Special Edition. I am going to be creating my character from um, Star Stable Online and I will try and get her to look as she does in Star Stable. Oh my gosh, this must be the longest creation that I've ever taken part in, but... Oof. I have to get her perfect, you know? Um, I need to get her the way she looks in uh, the uh, game that she was actually created in. Uh, so she has brown eyes and she will have uh, custom hair from Sky Hair, the mod. And uh, her hair will be uh, red in the colour, or as close to red as I can get it. Which is like quite hard because there's actually no red colour. Um, her name is uh, going to be Francesca Nightgrave. And that is my character created. As you can probably tell, this is not the vanilla start. This is because I was so fed up of the vanilla child. start that and I had to uh, find an alternative be. mod. And this Which mod is called Living an Alternate Life. As this mod allowed me to um, live an alternate life, I decided to uh, so surprise be. myself Enjoy with a house. Home, it may be. Um, now, I, w I won't know which house it, it will be until I use the bed in this uh, prison room. Okay, so I have now loaded in my house, which looks a lot like Markarth. Um, it's got a lot of uh, Dwena um, influences around it, and uh, oh god, I look ugly. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go outside and see what there is. Okay, so the doors have opened and I have got another modded uh, quest called Frostfall um, which will uh, help with the immersion of this game but this is Markarth um, and this is where chaos will begin um, so yep this is Markarth and what is that guy doing? Oh my gosh! Oh god! Um, okay. Okay. Let, let's just... Oh god, no chaos! <laughs> okay, Mr. Guard, if you say so. But, uh, yep, this is Markarth. And I am going off to explore for a bit. Ooh, who's this guy? Uh, do you know anything about the first one? Just want to work. Who's in charge of the smelter? Mullish, big orc fella. Can't miss him. Until next time. 
Okay. Uh, let's go up here. I want to see what's up here. So this door is locked, and that is the Hall of the Dead. Uh, where's the uh, where's the y'all? Where's the y'all at? Okay, so I am currently in Understand Keep, and what is going on here? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honor. Oh, okay. You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongbor. We're done. Okay, what was that about? It's about the Hall of the Dead. No. You, Why not? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. I could help you if you tell me. Right. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. Nice. We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of RK will reward you. Okay, I'll be careful. be careful. Not that dim. What's the Hall of the Dead? Hmm. New to Skyrim? I was confused at first, too. The Nords call their mausoleums the Hall of the Dead. It's where people in the city are buried. Fathers, forefathers, mothers. Mothers. That's really interesting. Who is RK? RK? One of the eight divines, god of the cycle of birth and death. It is his shrine people pray to when they visit the hall, that his divinity will watch over their ancestors on the way to the next life. Okay, now we're done talking with you, let's... No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's go on as if nothing happened. Ah, uh, the mouse is so finicky. Well, the touchpad is anyway. Ah, here's the owl. Good to see you. Stupid dog. It all started here. This rebellion. When the Empire lost the Reach during the Great War, we became desperate. We promised a group of Nord militia free worship in exchange for their help retaking the Hold. Then the elves found out about it. We were forced to arrest all of them. Ulfric Stormcloak, their leader, used the whole thing as proof that the Empire had abandoned Skyrim. The rebels called it the Markarth Incident. It was the founding day for the Stormcloaks, and where this war really started. Before we continue, there was an attack in the marketplace. Oh, Margaret. And witnesses report that the attacker was shouting some nonsense about being a false one. I want to make things clear. Markarth has its troubles, but there are no false one in this city. They are only a threat in the hills and along the roads where they live. Everywhere else, we are in control. Why did you arrest the North Militia? The the Our treaty with the elves after the Great War forbids free worship of Talos. But that's what we promised Ulfric and his men. It seems foolish looking back, but at the time we were hoping the elves wouldn't find out. So when they did find out, it was either we arrest Ulfric and the Militia, or enter into yet another war with the Aldmeri Dominion. The choice was clear, and now Ulfric threatens the thinly veiled peace we sacrificed so much for. The Empire lost the reach before? When the How? the Dominion invaded the Imperial City, the Legion all but turned a blind eye to the other provinces. Many of the disgruntled natives of the reach used the opportunity to depose the Empire and founded what they called an independent kingdom. It was little more than a chaotic uprising. But the Reach was removed from Imperial authority for two years before we reclaimed it. But the leaders of the uprising refused our offers of peace 
They fled into the hills. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little playthrough of Skyrim. Uh, I hope to continue these, so if you could give me a like and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Bye!